On this one hour chart for the Euro USD, you can actually see a whole bunch of retracement patterns that are outlined with swing points on different degrees of trend. Now, uh, we see a really big wave structure here, like so. And what that does is outlined a bearish retracement, that is a leg down retracement, presumably to a lower high, which actually would be more visible on the four hour chart. Okay, so the big pattern uh, might be like so. Swing point A. And then we have uh, at the bottom, swing point B. And then over to the right, eventually, we're going to look to call a swing point C, a high. Okay, I'll put it in question marks for as long as it's the case that I'm not sure uh, if it's... Uh, materialized or not. Okay, now if you look closely,
And this is very typical here on larger retracements, a sort of a three-wave structure, a rally, a retracement against that rally, another counter-trend rally. And then, uh, as, again, as long as the higher level momentum readings remain down, I don't know if they are right here as I record this, uh, we should be able to call a top on this move at some point as well. Okay, but the most important point here is that the major turns, which we see here, capital letter A, capital letter B, very clearly delineated by swing point patterns, as are the smaller lowercase ABCs, uh, giving us those smaller sort of fractal retracements, always starting and ending with valid swing points.